Dear Alexander, eight, you're not everyone's teacher. You feel like you can positively influence a lot of people or something you've done through these videos, through your hundred plus uh, articles and writings that you put out into the world and through your own, through everything you do in your life, through your own like profession. You feel like you have to mitigate pain and suffering in others at times. If only you could structure the perfect number of words together in the perfect sequence, you might be able to inspire this certain person on a better path or inspire them to make a better decision that you feel like is best for them. It's, you, you project, sometimes we project, I project my own like ideal reality on someone else. I've done it before. I'm like, hold on, wouldn't your life be better if you just did this? Wouldn't you mitigate suffering if you just listened to what I was saying and, 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 and did whatever was coming out of my mouth? Oftentimes, sometimes you're right. Sometimes, yeah, in reality, that sounds rational. That sounds pragmatic. Yeah, okay. But you realize that, you know, you can't project your own thesis onto other people, you know? Be there for them to listen and offer suggestions, suggestions that are invited. But that's all. Let your actions be the guiding example for those that want to strive to be better. And I really believe in that now. So many people around me, no, not so many. There's people around me that are, there's always, everyone's got, let me rephrase that. Everyone's got people around them who are suffering, who are, could be in a better situation. And often, sometimes we try and fix these people like they're broken. Often that doesn't work. You can't force someone to drink from the fountain. You can't force someone to create a habit. I think, I think, if you just be the habit, if you just be the light, if you just be the person that you want to see in them, then that sometimes can have a contagious effect on some people, not all. Humble yourself and realize you don't have to try and change everyone you care for. And this is really challenging, idea and concept, but I'm getting better at it. Sometimes pain and suffering must be left alone. Who are you to intervene anyway? Remember, you're not everyone's teacher. And it's the same thing with this. I'm a teacher to myself. That's why. That's why I do this. So I need to teach other people. If other people want to learn. If you want to learn, you can learn. This is to teach myself first and foremost. It is a selfish endeavor, as I said in my very first Dear Alexander, and I will say again.